So there's a lot to talk about again this week, finally. There's Archon's Forge information, awesome Archon's Forge information at that, information about Radiant Treasures, and some stuff about the new Thorn Quest. That's what we're talking about this week on Talking Destiny. Hi, I'm your host, Tanner Linares. My co-host, Michael Barry, couldn't be here this week, so we got a, a special guest this week, Harvey Dent. Yo. A.K.A. Two-Face. It's Michael in disguise. Anyway, so... There's so much to talk about this week, Harvey. So, why don't, why don't you say we don't just jump right in? Jump in. Now. So anyway, there's a lot to talk about, and it's pretty great. Did you see the new video, Michael? Fucking son! Damn you! It's Michael! He's alive! He's alive! You're alive! Fuck. Fuck. He wasn't alive, it was a joke, he's still dead. So, anyway, there was a really cool video of Archon's Forge being played, and I think the arena that they displayed in this video looks really, really nice. I don't know, what, do you, what did you think about it? Yeah, I agree. It does look like it has some neat cover areas, and, you know, it looks like it was just designed really well for combat against a horde of enemies, which is exactly what it was designed for, but I think they did a great job with it. Looks like you can easily find places to hide, but there aren't so many places to hide that you're just, you know, hiding all the time and easily able to snipe everything. There's an element of challenge, but not so much to the point where it's annoying. Wouldn't you agree with that? One second, please. Alright. <clears throat> Gotta give him the Heimlich. <sighs> Wouldn't you agree with that statement? Um, yes. My statement was that you should speak louder so the audience can hear you. Okay! Yeah! 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 Okay, okay. Yeah, so anyway, I was talking about the Archon Sport and how its, it's play area looks really well designed. And not that we should be surprised about that, because Destiny has had some great level design in the past, but this looks particularly noteworthy. Looks like it's got great areas for cover, but not so much so to the point where you're just going to be hiding all the time, and just not actually even almost having the remote possibility of dying. Like but, the Prison of Elders, the stairs? Yeah. But it also looks like there's not so much cover that you die... Or don't die, but also, like I was saying, and, and the architecture, the fallen architecture, it's similar to the Prison of Elders, of course, because that's fallen architecture, as you know if you pay any attention whatsoever to the game, but it still looks really nice. And there's lava. Oh, there's lava. Yeah, for the first time in Destiny ever, we're getting to see lava. Not it, magma. Not magma. In the video... The, um, I don't remember who it was, it was the level designer, but he referred to it as magma, and I just immediately thought, no, it's not magma, magma is when it's still on the ground, lava has, is when it has come up. 
That is not relevant to this video whatsoever. I just thought it was annoying that he said magma and not lava, but whatever. It still looks sick as fuck. Learned something today. The more you know. Dun, 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 dun. Anyway, are you gonna come back down to Earth? Okay. Anyway, so yeah, it, the Archon Sports looks like it's gonna be a really awesome level area. I'm super looking forward to it. Only 18 more days until Rise of Iron! Yeah. Mm, we're gonna play that! I'm gonna be world's first for a second it comes out. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, look, Harvey's back. Oh, never mind. Just what? No, it's Harvey. Michael. Hey. Um, anyway. So, what else was I to talk about this week? There were two other things other than the Aragon Sports. The, uh,. New material. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. That was really weird, and I'm never going to do that again. But anyway, I'm super excited about Radio Treasures. Um, so in case you missed it in the news, September 8th, they're getting rid of Sterling Treasures. Pretty much. You're not going to get your weekly Sterling Treasures anymore, and you can't get it out of the Crucible anymore. The only way to get it from here on is going to be level 41 Prison of Elders. <coughs> but... It's being replaced by something called Radiant Treasure, which you can still only get one a week. Also, you can't buy Radiant Sterling Treasure from Eververse anymore. I forgot to mention that. They're taking it off of Eververse forever. Um, so, really, the only possible way you can obtain a Sterling Treasure after that point is level 41 Prison of Elders once a week. Um, so, that's kind of annoying if you're grinding for the Taken Gear and that you can't earn it legitimately more than once a week, but I digress. Radiant Treasure you can only earn once a week, but Eververse will sell it. But, you know, if you're purchasing microtransactions. You get, but anyway, that's not really the point. The point is that, you know, microtransactions are stupid, and if you support them, you're an asshole because you're supporting the cancer of the gaming industry, and that's like going outside picketing. Yeah, cancer, 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 and give more people cancer. Anyway, that's not the point of what I'm saying. The point of what I'm saying is that Radiant Treasures are freaking cool. The only way to get them is each week through the weekly Heroic Siva Crisis. Is that getting more to the normal weekly Heroic Strike playlist? And it looks really cool because you open it and it can come with an ornament. Um, and if you don't want your ornament, you can dismantle it and get something called Silver Dust. And what Silver Dust is, is an in-game obtainable item that you can use to purchase things from Eververse. You don't just need silver anymore, you can also use silver dust. So, say there's that Yaller ring, but not the iron one, the one that Eververse sells, the normal color scheme one. And you really, 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 and Xur is going to start selling ornaments, which are bought with the silver dust, indeed. So, I'm excited about the silver dust aspect, because that means I can actually get cool new emotes from Eververse, if emotes are sold, but I assume they are. I, I don't know why they have selling them. Mean. No, 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 I mean new ones. Oh, like, yeah, if the yeah, new yeah. ones are being, it can be bought with silver dust. Oh, yeah, that'd be cool. Like, new ones you have to make instead of, you know, silver. Yeah. But, like, the old ones. You can still get so silver, cool. but silver dust is an option that you can get in game for us players who actually play the game. I want to actually earn things through play. What do you think about silver dust? I think it's, uh,. Cool thing that they'll be adding, and uh, a lot better than silver. Oh yeah, silver sucks. Microtransactions suck. But the upside of the way micro Destiny's microtransactions work is that they don't profit off of them. 
They take 100% of the money from microtransactions and use it to fund further developments in the game, like free new content. Now let's talk about the infamous Thorn. The, um, what do you call it now? The, uh, servers are going to be down. Oh, right. The servers are going to be down for one whole week next week. That means... Not really. They're not actually going to be down for a whole week. They're going to be going down next week when they apply that update, but not for a whole week. It would be ridiculous. That would be ridiculous. But what would that mean if they went down for a whole week? No destiny. Indeed, it would mean that. Yep. And which would also mean the last week of my life. <sighs> Apologies to anybody who actually has had to deal with suicide. That was an inappropriate joke. To anybody who hasn't had to deal with it. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Thorn is coming back. I like the Thorn, but and since they nerfed the crap out of it, it's probably not going to be very effective in the Crucible like it used to be, but that was fucking heyday of the Thorn, and it's probably never going to be that effective in the Crucible ever again, but the fact that they're making you work for it again through another quest, when the exotic weapon bounty that you got for it during year one was such a bitch to do, you remember doing it, it was such a bitch. You had to get void kills, it was annoying as shit, Everybody was hated it, but they were at least thinking, hey, it was worth it, because this thing is overpowered as hell in the Crucible. And then, now they're making us do more work again? It's like, we already earned that. So let's buy it back. Yeah, but at least it gives you more to do. True. But still, I feel like it's really... It, it's not authentic. It's feels forced when they're giving you more to do just to get something you probably already had. You know, if they're going to give me more to do, that's awesome. I want more to do. More to do is awesome, but I would like that more to do to give me something that's more. It's not what I already have. But, hey, I guess we'll see how it turns out. If the quest is just the exotic weapon bounty, I would be pissed. But if the quest is something simple and easy... It'll be worth it. Or at least easy in exotic quest terms. So looking forward to Rise of Iron. It's going to be awesome. Indeed. Yeah. So brief time out. It is time to go to commercial. We'll be right back after these messages. Goodbye! Hi there, everybody. This is a commercial! Um, for... Leonard and... Burgomish. The Leonard and... Burgomish. Yo. It's coming back! We already made an announcement video about this, but we just wanted to bring it up here. Yeah, it's our awesome claymation series, and it's gonna have, it's gonna be way, it's gonna be a legitimately really good show soon, because it's well written now, it's got voice acting, actual backgrounds, it's gonna be awesome. So please watch that when it comes out. Please, I'll die if you don't. They have a gun to his head. You can't see this. Bang, bang. And we're back. Oh, right. I had to give him CPR for the bullet wound in the head. Red versus blue reference. Anyway. <coughs> so. Ornaments. Let's take a minute to talk about ornaments. <coughs> did we already talk about the ornaments? We did already talk about ornaments, but let's talk about them again. They are fucking awesome. They are so fucking awesome. <coughs> <coughs> Easy. 
probably dying. Yeah, he, he's dying. So uh, maybe we should end this episode. Yeah, uh, maybe. Yep. I think that um, I'm gonna take this guy to the hospital. Yeah, personally, I think that this has been enough content for this week. So, yeah, yeah, I think that's just about the end of the episode. Yeah. Also, yeah. So I don't have a car or a license, so I'm gonna have to like throw you over my shoulder. We can call the ambulance and tell them to pick me up, just like Brian Reagan. Oh. Um, I forgot about those guys. Yeah, they they pick you up. But anyway, this has been Talking Destiny. So like, subscribe, all that. Tell your friends. Tell your friends and have a beautiful day. Bye. Bye. Bye.